Wimborne Town produced their best attacking performance of the season today at Cuthbury in front of a healthy crowd of 277 to beat Tiverton Town 2 0. And for once, our best attacking display of the season was, was, uh, was linked with tremendous defensive display, so much so that Adam Costello was, was given man of the match. And yet, despite the Wimborne winning, it could easily have been 6 0, and the second half reminded us a lot of the second half at Yate, where we, we dominated the game but actually came away with nothing. So if there's one downside to this, it's we must learn in Mickey Hubbard's words in the, in the today's match programme to be more ruthless when we're in front of goal. Their goalkeeper made fan some fantastic saves, but really we should have been out of sight long before that. Returning John Blake, uh, John Blake returned from su suspension and went straight into the midfield, but Sean Bryan, available again after, after Tuesday, had to make do with a, seat, with a seat on the bench as Steve Cuss went with Nathan Pepper and had Adam Costello in the middle of the defence and Ryan Case and Billy Maybury at fullback. And up front he started with uh, Alex Moth and, and uh, Jamie Davidson. And for the half an hour that those two played together up front, I thought they showed really, really good signs of getting an understanding. Tiverton, if anything, were the brighter side for the first quarter of an hour, but then on 19 minutes, Jamie Davidson was given the ball in the penalty area and his footwork was just too quick for the Tiverton defenders. He was pulled down, referee had no hesitation in pointing to the spot. Up stepped Mickey Hubbard and lofted the ball cleverly into the roof of the net to put Wimborne one up. That's the way it finished, that's the way it ended. It was, it was at half time. And Wimborne went in thinking, did we really do enough with all the pressure that we had? Well, that was nothing compared to the second half. Uh, the chances that Wimborne had were too numerous to mention, but Alex Moth, uh, George Webb, Tom Jeffs, I think we hit the post three times and in, in, hit the woodwork three times in the game. And let's, let's get a shout for the Tiverton goalkeeper who was absolutely outstanding in that second half. And it was beginning to look as though it was going to be one of those days and you could just see Tiverton grabbing a goal in the breakaway until the 99th minute when another sustained attack from Wimborne ended with the ball breaking to, to Alex Moth and his strong shot was deflected into the roof of the net to make it 2-0. After that, it was, uh, it, it was Tiver Tiverton never stopped trying and full credit to them for that, they never stopped trying but it never looked as if the points were going anywhere else but Cuthbert. Tiverton are in the middle of a dreadful run, and I think that's 10 or 11 games without a win, and it's difficult to see where they, where they go from here. They're certainly not short of spirit. Uh, their manager would be proud of the way that they played, but I think they were just giving us too much space at the back, and they'll have to tighten up there. Man of the match, as I said earlier, Adam Costello, spot sponsors uh, uh, give, give that to Adam Costello. For me, I think we've got to give a shout to Alex Moth as well as Jamie Davidson up front and of course the indomitable John Blake who seems to dominate the midfield in every game, the game he plays. How we missed him at Yate Town on, on, on Tuesday night. Next up for Wimborne, trip to Bridgewater on Tuesday and then North Lee on Saturday and we'll see you at those. I've got Magpie boss Steve Cuss with me after today's 2-0 win over Tiverton Town. Steve, you must be thrilled, 2-0, but it could, it could easily have been 5 or 6. Yeah, if anything, that's probably a little bit of disappointment that we didn't kill the game a bit earlier. You know, second half there, we had a number of chances, but, you know, we're not going to be too greedy. We're happy with that, and uh, it was nice to keep a clean sheet after, after Tuesday night where we didn't defend very well. So, particularly pleased with that. Get the two goals, real bonus. Mm -hmm. um, Eden Sainsbury went off uh, halfway through the first half, and you had to readjust the the, the the system a little bit. Was that was that a problem? It was. In fact, we haven't got many midfielders available at the moment. It seems to be the midfielders that are out injured, uh, um, so it, it causes a little bit of problem. We've got a bit of concern over Aiden. His legs very swollen. Um, he's off for an X-ray now, so obviously this could be a big doubt about him for Tuesday night and maybe a bit longer. But we'll have to assess that. But it did mean that we had to move it around a little bit. But particularly pleased with Alex Moff, who since he's been here in his spell, he's played centre forward, centre midfield and he ended up having a tuck in on the left hand side for us tonight or today. So again, you know, the adaptability of the players and um, full credit to them, they're able to do that. I thought Alex Moth was outstanding today, he fully deserved his goal, very pleased to see him get it. Yeah, he was unlucky, he probably could have had a hat-trick, you know, <laughs> he had a couple of ones blocked and uh, good saves from their goalkeeper, but, uh, you know, perseverance, he kept on going and uh, 
obviously his goal sealed the game for us. And when he was playing up front with Jamie in the first half, in the first half, that showed signs of a, a good understanding between the two. Yeah, well, they're both you know intelligent football players, and they you know got good ability. Um, but as always, I've got plenty of options up front, and um, decided to go with Alex today for just you know getting into his feet and trying to hold it up. Um, but then obviously Tom came on and Tom held it up well. Matt Kemble and Steve Smith, who was unavailable today. So again, Alex has given us just that little bit of extra mm. during this month that he's with us. I thought it was our best attacking performance of the season. And and it's not always been the case, but when we attack, we've got forward numbers, which is important, doesn't it? Yeah, we, we, we've, we've had some good, long, hard chats this week. Um, obviously, we, we were very disappointed, although we thought we played very well at Yates. You know, we were just too easy to beat. And we've talked about just being hard to beat again and getting back to basics today. And then when we get the ball, we can break and we can go with pace and the, and the, and the forward players. And you know, at times we have four or five running and then they can really cope with us. So, you know, it works nicely today. Again, as always now, we've got to try and do it back to back. And that's what we've been striving mm. for for a long time. And, and we've talked a lot about the about the attack. But let's be honest, I mean, the, the, the defence were, were stars today, weren't they? I mean, Nathan and Adam at the back, I thought, were outstanding. Yes, yeah, definitely. You know, we had a big session on Thursday night with defending and just, you know, communicating, talking and getting back to basics. And the two of them, along with Ryan and Billy at fullbacks, were very, very good today. And, you know, obviously, I keep referring to Tuesday where we were disappointed, but you know that's three clean sheets in four games, I think. So, mm -hmm. in fairness to the to the back four, who we are missing some as well at the moment, and Jason behind them, who's in top form at the moment. You know, fair play to them; they've done very well today and got that clean sheet. Aidan's clearly a massive doubt for Bridgewater on Tuesday, and anybody else at the moment that's no. looking doubtful? No, we think we're all okay apart from Aidan, obviously major doubt, but we'll have um, Steve Smith back into the squad as well. Well, Steve, thanks for that. 277 people at the game, a beautiful day, some really good football, good day all around. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. thanks. Cheers.